hi everyone welcome back and thank you for clicking but if you are new to this channel you're highly welcome my name is Lillian and today I have this elegant beautiful Nigerian base in Ghana Nigerian youtuber base in Ghana right yeah um, so my name is Jumi and I, it's actually Jumoke it's just a short form of June oh you are Jumoke. Yoga? yeah really yes wow i thought you are evil <laughs> no 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 okay. no but people actually call me jumi 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 mm. so i'm just like okay because sometimes when they want to pronounce my real name they don't mm. mother the name for me like that <laughs> but i've been based you know or before i came to ghana i was actually based in portacourt for okay. more than how many years so calling my name was kind of difficult so i just like, okay, just made called jumi. jumi yes okay so a lot of people know me with the name jumi and i choose to just okay that means Some your husband is Igbo, my if I may guess. Is Igbo, yes. Because it's so good to have you on my channel. Yes. So you live in Ghana. Yeah. Okay, guys, before I will ask her more questions about herself, uh, let me quickly tell you that Jumi also own, um, own a channel. Jumi owns a channel too. Yeah, and she vlogs about Ghana. And she have a version of something like this on her own channel. So I'm going to leave it down in the description of this video so you would check her out and then support her channel okay let's grow together what do you think go and see her own version is on fire okay <laughs> all right so um another thing i want to ask you is um how and when did you why did you come to ghana okay i actually came to ghana because of my husband because he was transferred to work here in ghana oh, wow. and that was in 2020 you know he was transferred to work october 2020 while we joined him December 27th, 2020. So since then I've been here though, I've been going in and out mm. like two, twice or three times now, you know, but yeah, I'm like here, you know. Okay, here so for now you, you're based in Ghana right now? Yes, we're based in Ghana right now. Okay. Yeah, I was working you know, in Nigeria. I still work like remotely and all, and I do YouTube. Yeah. And I do one or two other things. And you are you know? a mom too. That's yeah, a, yeah, that, yeah. That's a job on its own. You yes, know? sure, sure. You're doing It's well. a job on its own, you know, <laughs> then, you know, training your kids in another country. Yeah. Without family, without friends, mm, without anybody. It's, it's quite easy. tasking sometimes, yeah. but we just have to find a way to just... To balance things. Yep. Wow. Uh, I want to ask you another question. Okay. Uh, the question is how what was your first impression of ghana my first impression of ghana well ghanians are very simple of ghana or ghanians which one mm, uh ghanians make they are the one that makes ghana they make okay ghana. okay so, so i'll say the anything you are, yeah yes please, including ghanians yeah about ghanians okay yeah. so i've actually something i've actually done on my channel mm, you know, okay. things you i love about ghana that. yes mm, okay i love the simplicity of the people the people are just very very simple you know when I came out first, because in my own country, sometimes when you're too simple, people look at it, okay, you know, get money, now what you making simple, mm, you know, go you know, too true, yeah, you know, uh -huh, you know true. true, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's not like, not everybody's actually loud, like, loud, loud yeah. in Nigeria, but, you know, when you see somebody that has money, there's, a, there's an aura mm. that we expect or we see. <laughs> But coming here now, and at first when I came, when I said, ah, why are these people looking, you know, kind of... So when I even saw the ones that were st okay, yeah, you know, financially. I still saw, yeah, I still saw the same, like, so I think the simplicity of the people, I love it so much. I love Aww. the calmness. It's quite calm, you know, everywhere in Accra. Even other places, because I've been to, like, other parts, you mm, know. Okay. It's quite calm, you know, no stress. Mm. Everybody's just quietly doing their thing. Of course, it's not like it's not like that in my country, but mm, sometimes some you know, parts, it's not, it's we not like as, the bass bows. Eh, we just like, give it to you yeah, we like bass bows. Then when you're in Lagos, your bass bows is on the triple <laughs> level, you know. <laughs> That's how we are. Then, then I love the value for life, that value mm. for life part. Hmm. Because was here, I learned that you have to wait for people to cross <laughs> if you're driving. In my country, pedestrians will wait for a car mm. to pass. And when you eventually try to pass, how do you do it in Nigeria? Ah, uh, you are you are running. You are running with your life on your on your head, <laughs> because you don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> because you don't know. Ha! If I, you are holding them, you, you are running. 
because you don't even know the person, the first person in your front can be waiting, but another person can overtake and now and hit and, and he, do you understand? But here, even Trotro <sighs> drivers, yeah, are also in Trotro in my country. Yeah, how? they are not supposed to be okay, right? They yeah, they're not supposed to be, supposed to be normal, normal. boy. They are not supposed to be normal because <laughs> in Lagos, we see any transport <laughs> driver oh as. God. Somebody that is not normal. Mm, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's either the person is coming from a psychiatry or, or you don't know what the person has smoked that oh morning God, before funny. turning yeah. on the ignition exactly. to head on the road, you know. Oh. But here you see there is mm. um they will even wave you, like you even see torture drivers wave you and tell you to wait if mm. somebody wants to cross. Mm. And I learned that, like I do it. In fact, I don't even need to. You're still, you're not close to the road here, mm. but I can sight that you want to cross. I'm already stopping. Uh, because the person crossing, I think here, uh, the person crossing may not even look twice. You may yeah, not think yeah, twice, they just, just want to cross. cross. If you are not careful, mm. you may just, hit the so person. So I, I learned that, like I stop anywhere I see anybody. I stop to allow you cross. In fact, for children own, I don't even need you to tell me. Yeah, mm. no, for anybody, elderly, but I know in Nigeria, yes, there are people who wait for elderly people yes, to cross. But like but you said never... earlier, you said earlier, you could be waiting. Somebody mm. can decide to wait for you to you, cross. Another but person the person from behind might not, do you understand? So, but here, whether elderly, whether the person is looking not so, mm. it's not somebody that you even want to do anything with. Yeah. They will wait for you to cross. Okay. So that value for life is something I love so much. So I think, yeah. And you said you were taking it back home. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm going home, like going back to Nigeria, I don't know when, but anytime that happens, trust me, it's something I'm going to be doing. If mm-hmm. I do you know in Nigeria, if you d- drive too slowly, say, they will <laughs> hone your, they will, hon- <laughs> oh my God. But it's oh something God. we just have to do again. Yeah, yeah, yeah to, ah, uh, they will hon you out of that road. That, wait, is this one? You want to carry your car? Uh, you, you know, you know, what if, what if this one they drive? You know, get where you they go this morning. <laughs> oh my God. Come, come <laughs> carry that your motor come off on road. <laughs> okay, we will love. They, they will hon oh, you no, out of the road. Because every, everybody's in a hurry. Yeah, you Jesus. get so, but here now, you see people driving. Hey. At first, it was like, I can human beings be driving like this is that you don't have where you're going to because then we're just calm yeah driving slowly hey, no, i'm not i'm not used to that one yet uh-uh, and i, I struggle to fit into that no, no yes struggle. yes to fit into driving slowly Chai. but if i see somebody trying to cross i must wait mm, like it's good. a must it's a very yes. good thing wow okay wow, wow. <laughs> that was really interesting mm. okay so now I have a lot of people reach out to me, them wanting to move to Ghana, them wanting to relocate to Ghana with their families. So, with how families. much? Yeah, how much do you think Whoa. you would need as a family of four to of move four. to Ghana and be comfortable, um, not to even sustain you? I mean, like those basic needs of yours, like accommodation school fees because before you even do anything you don't get you you not get your kids into school sure. first so i mean like that and feeding and t- transportation you are in better position to tell us more on this okay okay so as a family whoa mm-hmm. you want to move down to ghana first of all i'll tell you if you don't really have maybe a job or something that is making you come in our case now it was a transfer if it was mm. not a transfer probably i would have just visited ghana mm. and gone back do you understand because a lot of nigerians visit ghana and i've asked, i've explained it in my channel okay it's close to nigeria mm. you know you just want to do vacation you know you don't want somewhere too far it's cheaper than maybe going to europe mm. going to america and all that but you want to relocate i've done a lot of videos on that on my channel I love you to watch them, but since you know we are talking about it now, let mm. me still do what to talk about it. For mm. rent, trust me, maybe a family of four, you need a two bedroom apartment, okay, or maybe three bedroom. As mm. some people, it depends on you know how you want yeah. it. So, and a two bedroom apartment in Accra is about from maybe a thousand, a thousand, depending on the area, but mm. between a thousand and two thousand five hundred CDs. Okay, and I'm talking about Accra. I know it's rent is actually cheaper in other parts mm. than Accra. But yeah, so Accra, whatever she's going to explain here, yes, I'm explaining. Is, we are talking about Accra. Accra okay, this is where she lives, this is yes. where we live. Accra. But funny enough, eh, how many Nigerians would even want to go to Kumasi? It's not like you they don't have, have there. no, They're but when it comes to business, you eh, have the okay. opportunities are more here. Well, depends. Um, 
there I know there are a lot of Igbo people in Kumasi yeah, because, 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 because of the kind of business. Yeah. Kumasi yeah, is but actually somebody... very populated. Okay, okay. If, me, I, I used to think, I used to believe, and I still believe that Kumasi is even more populated okay, than, than Accra. Accra. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, apartment from a thousand to two thousand five hundred. I know mm. somebody who is staying in one right now, and okay. it's like a thousand six. And they've even increased it for him. If his rent expires, mm. they've told him he's going to pay higher. So mm. from that's for just rent. Mm. So if you're staying in a three bedroom, maybe from two five, okay. four thousand, and or for feeding, feeding, just mm. feeding. Oh, like mm. you're eating Nigerian food. If you're eating Ghanaian food, it might be cheaper for you, but yeah, you're still going to be doing a lot of Nigerian things because maybe your kids, you know, you still want to have that feel mm, of, that I'm, feeling I'm of at home, home. Yeah. you understand? So you want, still want to do your thing. Trust mm. me, you're going to be spending nothing less than 2025 a month. I'm not talking about quarter, mm. a month a month so and i've done conversion if you go to my channel you see i've done the how to convert okay back to naira to understand you know this money thing they were talking about transportation usually i advise do normal trot trot that's the mm. boss option here because mm. if you're doing boats fuel is not smiling here you know oh. prices of fuel and it goes up like almost every time mm. so if you're doing trot trot maybe 400 500 cities a month you know then maybe electricity in my own case mm -hmm. like i stay in a self compound a bungalow just a bungalow mm. just us we do like 400 cities a month okay then for water 70 cities that's what we do then internet i use internet a lot okay. youtubing you know of course it yeah, involves a whole creator, lot yeah. i do as much as 400 cities a month but that's even for the whole house okay. not just me yes oh, okay yes for the house so 400 cities then of course your cable mm, mm. you're doing cable cable is about 200 and something cities i can't remember and we're paying two 200 i can't remember the exact amount anymore but okay. to recharge is like 200 and something a month but now when i traveled mm. december i bought the one from nigeria yes i bought a decoder from nigeria it's actually cheaper when you do yeah it, that is very true it's in cheaper. nigeria I, yes. I, I pay less i pay like Three thousand okay. naira, about. Yes. He are paying ninety cities. Okay. No, for the uh -huh. same thing. Okay. So that's you know, med. Which other one am I? Um, your waste bin. That one is not so expensive. Mm. Maybe thirty cities. Okay. A month. Then what other things? So I mentioned rent. Let's yeah. say one five. Mm. Feeding. Let me say two thousand, two thousand five. You okay. know, that's four thousand. Then transportation. Let's say five hundred. That's four, four five. Okay, like a month. A month. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. A, mo a month, five hundred. It's okay. going to be more expensive than that. Oh, trust yeah, me. Yeah, I know that is if the person is using it. Trust sure, sure. sure, yes. So if you are using, like, you want to use the ta private taxi, no. it's definitely going to be. Oh, maybe two thousand CDs. Yeah, if not yeah. more. <laughs> hmm. So a month, five hundred CDs. It okay. might be more actually, but let me just leave it. So that's four five. Mm. Then I talked about cable. So let's say three hundred CDs. Okay. So that's four thousand eight then what again your light your water water mm. light for me is 400 cds okay without ac mm. if you want to use ac you're going to spend maybe 500 600 cds and for now the weather has been very very good mm. like i've been loving the weather right yeah, now when i came right nearly yes of course if you want to use just the fan maybe you can do up to 300 then if you're, you're of course your freezer your all those other things mm. and they they cost you money too you mm. know so everything I've mentioned is about five thousand something. Mm. But something is telling me there's something I've not mentioned. But I think um, what is that? Is it school fees? If you're going to be doing mm -hmm. school fees, well, it depends on the kind of school you want. You can mm -hmm. get from a thousand, two thousand, four thousand. You can get a thousand, like CDs or dollar. Both. Ah. If you want CDs, you get. If you want dollar, you will get. Yet in a crowd, That's private schools. They cut a lot of schools. things in dollars. Yeah. So just right. get ready for dollars. And that reminds me now. This video now. Uh, this one we are doing. You know, you asked me a question about those back home who want to yeah. come. Mm. So I know some. Sometimes Ghanaians get to misinterpret these things. Yeah. When we say Accra is expensive, we are talking to those back home because sometimes we get feedback on this, but they want to know. So we do videos trying to explain certain mm. things to them. Like it's not 
has cheap because when you want to compare there, our lives back at home and yeah, our lives like, here yeah, it's, it's not, not the, the same. same so we have to make them understand, understand. that so i see sometimes people mm. come drop comments <laughs> yeah, say complaining this, so no 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 it's not complaining i'm <laughs> explaining just, okay me, me both of us meeting now mm. she's also getting the same kind of questions yeah do you understand so this she wants probably those back to hear yeah. from somebody else so that they will understand better Thank right you so Borganians, sometimes you guys just come no, and get angry and oh no <laughs> If you watch a lot of my videos, you say I've done a lot of positive talk about a lot of positive things, mm. shown a lot of places yeah. in Ghana. Then I try to make people, you know, just be real with people. Mm. Don't deceive anybody. Tell them this is what it is. Plan yourself ahead of time because there was a recent video I did. I was reacting to um, a, a female comedian in Nigeria, mm. you know, that talked about Ghana being expensive, and I, I was, and I broke it down to the hall because there are times that we've tried to like get halls mm. and they tell you per square meter is so 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 and so dollars really? so i know about it so i was making reference to that and a lot of people were telling me am i sure i'm like ah this is something that circle go to circle there are areas in around that circle mm. area you know there are areas in east legon and I, mean, I know of east legon there are areas in even maybe cantonment all those places they charge you in dollars funny enough what you know sorry the most of the guardians attacking you like that mm. shutting you down are people who don't even live in ghana they've not been i mean so, they have not they they traveled out of ghana since my like a long time ago so they don't know what's they happening don't know, right now. you understand just the same way when i talk about back home in nigeria mm. like a loaf of bread is so 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 and so amount mm. a lot of people will come for me don't say that you are lying because they kind of use their past mm. price mm. to still judge, judge. the present one mm. so yeah it so like it's not that. like it's even cheap, cheap, cheap mm. in Nigeria too. But I think you know, yeah, even in that video, yeah, yeah, so Ghana is gonna, expensive. I mean, Ghana Accra is expensive. It's expensive. Coming from there. there, but Ghanaians now who are based in Ghana, mm. especially maybe you've not traveled and or you might not know. Yeah, you not feel it because you don't you're know. You're here, you're based here, and you're in your homeland. But exactly. a foreigner will feel it because it's not just even Nigerians. I've mm. seen even people from maybe. Uh, spoken to some persons who will okay. also tell you that Accra is expensive mm. if you go to Osu, you say a lot of foreigners there they will tell you no but Accra is expensive that is expensive. Like, for the fact we are that not saying Ghana dollars. is expensive we are saying Accra, Accra. for the fact that you are so, spending dollars mm. there, are, there are apartments now that are quoted in dollars yeah two bedroom 500 600 dollars hmm. and you have to change the money to the present exchange rate Wow. Yes. Yeah, so if you're changing, or you're going to be changing ten points. Mm. I don't know the exact rate oh, today, but it's ten points. Point. Yes, ten points. So you're changing to the exact oh. exchange rate. And there was even a video I did. Like, if mm. you want to rent apartment here in Accra, don't go for an apartment that is quoted in dollars, because you're short changing yourself. Mm. Because in imagine when I came, it was five point eight. Mm. Right now it's mm. ten points in just two years. So imagine Honestly, what it's going to be. When I came this year, it was six eighty. Okay. No, it was um seven twenty seven forty. Point. Okay. Right when now I came this point. year, around April, it was seven. So imagine it rented seven forty. Right mm. now it's ten points. Wow. So imagine renting an apartment. You know, you're going to really feel it. So I usually mm. like anything you want to do here, yeah, spending CDs, CDs. If mm. they call dollar for you, exactly. Don't do run. it. <laughs> Well, so basically for those back home you mm. want to come please have something you're coming to meet mm. because hustling they are also hustling they exactly. want the money too exactly. you know so nobody even wants to everybody is hustling for them who wants to give you a <laughs> chance to free their own boat for you to yeah choose. no 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 who is gonna no. give you a chance okay. you know if so you have life skills, in my be... case just like mm. i said i could have been visiting you know okay if, if i have spare time your husband work, yeah, you got yeah. a job here and yeah then no was he's transferred hard, yes to work here you know so he did not get not, the job here he yeah, was transferred, transferred yes. i've said this thing before but okay. you know it's good to hear it from another yeah 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 definitely another so, person you point. don't really you don't know what you're coming for and you just want to move mm. down trust me it's we not don't i won't advise that. yeah we don't advise fact, that. okay see now you're even i won't advise <laughs> that i won't advise that because <laughs> if you if if for example now you spend 200k right now in nigeria mm. for running expenses mm. monthly here yeah, trust me you'll be spending like 450 yes to yes, 500 yes, yes. that's very true yes okay. that's the truth so Boganians now might not feel it because they're in yeah, a whole, they don't their things might be a little bit cheaper like, actually food you're gonna be eating nigerian food they're yeah, transporting it from nigeria so it's more expensive here mm. i don't know if you understand but their own food might be cheaper for you exactly if you can but eat our the own food, food yeah. 
Might yes. not be mm. so cheap, but you're still gonna pay rent. Me, I do like um forty percent of the Ghanaian no food okay. in my house. Like I do forty percent, and okay. I do sixty but for Nigeria. Of, yeah, I guess it to mm. help me. Me, I do. I do what she do. Yeah. Thank you very much for yeah. answering that. So okay. now, what is your favorite Ghanaian food? Have you tried any at all? Why not? And what is your favorite? My favorite Ghanaian wachi. I mean Ghanaian food. Wachi. Wachi. <laughs> yes. What do you like about wachi? You, you like, like it with gari. No, 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 no. Ah, no, why? You should. I, lo- I just love the. I love because I think it's because of the, the. What's it called? The shito. Mm, okay. I that know, black you know that, pepper, yes, right? that, that they are black shito. Very nice. I even buy it. Like, oh. I have somebody who supplies me shito. Oh. My kids love it a lot. See? We eat it with a lot of things in the house. I love that. Then I love the pepper, the green one. Okay, like, yeah. That I one. love that one a lot too. But they used to say Nigerians, like Yoruba love pepper. But when mm. I came here, ah. you now see that Yoruba people are learning. They are learning for where Ghanaians do. <laughs> Nigeria still tell me no, you're about to go on now on another level. Pepper. It's pepper. Look. But here they actually eat raw, raw mm. green pepper here. Blended raw. But I yeah. love this. I enjoy it. I love I love it. But the soup. Mm, the soup wow. like and lo- I'm not, no, I won't say that. Let me know. It's yeah, I'm like I'm, for trouble. No, I'm, I'm not bashing anybody. I love they it. They're cool with it. The, 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 it. The, the, the thing is, you know, soup. Mm. When the Ghanaian explained it to me, you mm. know, I was like, well, yeah, naturally, soup is supposed to be watery. Okay. But we thicken our soup. We mm. have thickeners we use for our soup. Mm. So because we, we just like, uh, let me use normal native soup. Okay. Yeah, what's this soup called? Is it Oha soup now? Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be very soup. Well. But we have thickeners. We use that cocoa. Yeah, yeah or use... Yes, we have thickeners. But here they don't. I don't think they yeah, do they thickeners. Do that. So they eat the soups like that. Yeah, so if, it's, if, it's, if they want it, adjust if they it want to it that. thick, though, they can cook something like kotomiri. Mm. You know those ones that like cocoa yam leaf and a goosey. If not really nice, that's my favorite. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And then they also have their own um, banga soup. Banga, yes, yeah. as watery as a no, our own, you see, our own banga is watery, like mm. the soup. Mm. Our own is watery, their own here is not that watery, mm. their own is like the Igbo ofaku, okay, okay, like okay. the banga rice, the Igbo people own, mm. so that's how their own here is, okay. Wow. But like, I actually have a video so much, I said, and try Nigerian and uh, Ghanaian dish for the first, first time. time, okay. But more, <laughs> yeah, of course, watch it, must it, watch like it. everything. It's watch it, watch it. But the granite soup, the mm. palm nut soup, and uh, I tried the palm nut light soup. Eh, uh-huh. that's the one that everybody will be. I'm saying, water, water. It's not like uh, they know I love it. A lot of people, if you've been following my channel, you know I love that one mm. so much with fufu. But since have then, you I've tried not... Ghana fufu before. Yeah, no, I love their fufu. Eh, hey. yes. Uh-uh. You have to eat it with that white light soup now. No, but they also you can. I love it, but I'm not really. I love it because theirs is lighter than our own fufu. Yeah, right. But yes, because mm. they mix their own with um, plantain. Right plantain. Yes, you know it makes it look like this onunu. You know I don't know if you know this reverse onunu. Okay. But I love it. I'm even wondering why are they calling it fufu because plantain yeah. and cassava is no longer fufu. As in, uh, that's on a yeah, different level. Yeah, but it's actually level. very sweet. I love it. But I can eat it with our vegetables. Me, that reminds me of amala. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. It. I'm okay, okay. with watching, honestly. Yeah, okay. I can eat watching like every day. Okay. My kids, cool. Yeah. They eat it. Okay, it's a, you you create content around Ghana. Yes, yes, you give yes, tips yes. for those who want to, to move, move to Ghana. Yes, I also do that too, and yeah. you just share your experience. My experience yes. And so where and yeah. I, you guys I already told you at the beginning of the video that she has a YouTube channel where she does all these things. So where in Ghana have you traveled to? <laughs> okay, because this one I was, I was like, mm, so is this how we just be in Ghana? And mm. if they tell me, have you visited Ghana? I say yes. Where did you go to? Accra. Accra. Where and where? Accra. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> And I began to like, okay, let me try out other places in mm. Ghana. Mm. You know, because if you say you've been to a country, let it be that you explore mm-hmm. that country. You, you know, you brought out the juice uh-uh. of the place. So I visited the Volta region, Keta, uh, in the Vol- just Volta region. Mm. I've been to Ak- Akusumbo. I've been to Keta. Mm. I've been to um, this place we went. Why do I keep forgetting? Is it Afajato? Like I climbed the highest mountain wow. in Ghana. Like 
Ghana, West Africa, the highest mountain in West Africa. I climbed that mountain, my first attempt. In fact, we were told that a lot, there are people who have attempted that thing like four or five, six times. They never got to the top. And you guys got to the top, like and all of us, all of us, like all of us that went on that trip, we were though I was the last. <laughs> Yeah, it but was you got to the top. Your team got to the top. So yeah, you got it to the was top. tough. Like it was very, very tough. That I have that video on my channel. It was oh, tough, wow. but I made it. Like we made it. Mm -hmm. It was raining, but we we're enjoying it. I've been to uh, we waterfall. These are all in Bota. I think Bota region to, has to be. The, what are you trying to do? Like you want to pass me? Like travel <laughs> past me in this Ghana? I need to go to those places. Too. Yeah. So Bota region happens. To, I think that should be like the most beautiful region. No? Really? Yes, because they have the hills. Jimmy. The mountains, the waterfall, they have the Mount Gimi. They have like two wow. or three waterfalls. Next there. trip, guys. Yeah. And what? from a mountain top, you're gonna to be seeing one of the waterfalls. Beautiful, very beautiful sight. Like this place is beautiful. Then I've been to Keta, I've been to the lighthouse. There's something lighthouse. I've been to Kakum. Yes, I've been to Kakum. That's also on the uh, western uh, Volta region. I've been to Central. Central is where Cape Coast is, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, Cape Central Coast. Is, yeah. Yes, I've been uh, to what's uh, the name of the castle? Um, the Emina. 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 No, no. Emina is, no, I think it's the Emina. one I went to is Cape Coast Castle. I didn't go to eh. Emina Castle. Yes. So I think yeah. Then I've been to Bonso. I've been to Aburi. I'm jealous of you. Right Aburi now. is like, in what Aburi? A breeze, yeah, a breeze. Water yeah. region, are we? No, no, eastern. Eastern region. Mm. So I've been to regions. You see, mm -mm. so I've tried in less than uh -uh. two years. You have tried past me. me. Don't worry, I'm no, going to back. No, what you mean? I'm going to. But you've been going to trips too now. I think you've been going to watch trips. But I've not gone to these places. But so my own is like I can't say. Based on your recommendation, I'm yes. going to go to some of these places. Please do, please do. Like you wow. enjoy. Like mm. it's almost like to me. I even think it's finer out of our car than in really? our car. Really. Yes, I hear a lot of people say that. Yes. People be saying that. Okay, yeah, people say that. Yeah, it's um, for me, when I got to Akosombo, I knew that mm -hmm, the beauty of Ghana is, is beautiful. It's not even in Accra. Yes, yeah, yes. it's not in Accra. No, Accra is for business. Yeah. Relaxation is outside. <laughs> there are places you can relax here, too, but being into all these other places, yeah. oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. Uh, this is our last question. <laughs> what was that culture shock for you in Ghana when you came as a Nigerian? My culture shock? Well, it should be seeing that. I think culture shock for me was seeing that language is widely spoken even in Accra. I was like, because sometimes you're walking on the sometimes, you know, you're walking on the road, you even know that somebody's talking to you mm -hmm. because they are speaking the language, you know. So when they come close to you and they speak, yes, I'm sorry, I don't understand the language because they just ask you because you are black, you mm -hmm. know, like them, then you a Ghanaian. So that was like shocking to me because back home, pigeon English, like everybody speaks. We start with that before we drag ourselves down beg, to the auntie, local I beg, language. Do you understand? Auntie, I beg. <laughs> And then when you hear the person's intonation, you can yeah, tell you can, where this where person is. is. In Nigeria, we all speak language, mm. you know. So, uh, sorry, we don't we speak, speak pidgin English. So it's when you start talking to somebody, you can actually say, okay, this is Igbo, mm. this is Yoruba. Then you can maybe now want to speak, you know, the language, the language. with them. But naturally, we just speak pidgin English. Mm. But here, they speak language here, and it was a little bit difficult. Trust me, it's even still difficult here now because sometimes you're even driving, you want to buy something on the yeah. road. Me patrol. <laughs> I'll be like, oh. <laughs> so, so I'll be like, can you please change to like, please change Something to English else for that me? I, I don't understand. understand your language, but I think by now I'm supposed to have started learning the language. Yeah, right. But I've just been too lazy. Don't mind me, please. Like, I totally understand. Then another cultural shock for me will be seeing that cats are normal here. <laughs> Tell like, us more about also, that. Like, ha. Huh, Okay, let me let me. I, I talked about this when I was talking about things that shocked me about Ghana. Honestly, this um cat thing was one mm. of the things I mentioned. Okay, when we were to move, my husband came ahead of us, he rented the apartment, he wanted to paint it. Mm. It was new, like they were still working on the house then. So they wanted to paint 
so the the people working they were still working in the mm. house they come every day to work so so i was just them oh help me do set there's any things i don't want them to fix because for example the apartment was not screened i don't tell them to like screen mm. some parts of it so there's a lady that was helping me to buy things okay so she now entered one of the rooms and she was videoing and i noticed that they were uh, uh, let me say animal you know um yeah. what was it called on no. the wall I find out she will ask <laughs> the people working when they mm. come so I think when they now came, she now told me that it was cat. How? <laughs> From where? Cat. Oh my god. <laughs> From as in I was so shocked like cat. Yeah, like, I'll be living with cat. Cat will crawl and enter <laughs> come at from here <coughs> she's like oh, oh the god. cats are normal here. I said can yeah. cats be normal here? <laughs> and it's not like no, I know there are areas in Nigeria where it's yeah. normal, but in the city mm. Like where I come we are from, not, we are not used to uh, cats like, like that. I think we have cats like that. We have cats and dogs, and hmm. it, it just that the difference is they belong to somebody. We know who they belong to. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, you, you people's cat. Like my mom owns used to own a cat, mm -hmm. and right now she owns a dog. So okay. we know where we see that dog or cat. Okay, out. we know, know where. But here yeah, it seems uh -huh. they are on their own. Like eh? it was shocking to <laughs> me. It was very shocking to me <laughs> and. Oh I, to, it was when I now came. Mm. I don't see rats here, okay. you know, because I stay in a bungalow, you know. Mm. But I've never seen rats. Then it's okay. You know, at least the benefit of the I understand the benefit of oh, that. I but I don't. I don't come close to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you. Um, thank you. All right, guys. Thank so you. So you more content from exactly us. Exactly from us. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, guys. So thank you. We have come to the end of the interview. But please don't forget to check the description box of this video for jumi's channel i'm please, going to link please. it down there in the comment in the description box okay all right so thank you guys for watching i will see you in our next one bye 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 mm. bye everybody mm. okay